All philosophical con games count on your using words as vague approximations. You must not take a catchphrase or any abstract statement as if it were approximate. Take it literally. Don't translate it. Don't glamorize it. Don't make the mistake of thinking, as many people do, oh, nobody could possibly mean this, and then proceed to endow it with some whitewashed meaning of your own. Take it straight, for what it does say and mean. Rationalization is a process not of perceiving reality, but of attempting to make reality fit one's emotions. Philosophical catchphrases are handy means of rationalization. They are quoted, repeated, and perpetuated in order to justify feelings which men are unwilling to admit. Nobody can be certain of anything is a rationalization for a feeling of envy and hatred toward those who are certain. It may be true for you, but it's not true for me is a rationalization for one's inability and unwillingness to prove the validity of one's contentions. Nobody is perfect in this world is a rationalization for the desire to continue indulging in one's imperfections, i.e., the desire to escape morality. Nobody can help anything he does is a rationalization for the escape from moral responsibility. It may have been true yesterday, but it's not true today, is a rationalization for the desire to get away with contradictions. Logic has nothing to do with reality, is a crude rationalization for a desire to subordinate reality to one's whims. I can't prove it, but I feel that it's true, is more than a rationalization. It is a description of the process of rationalizing. Men do not accept a catchphrase by a process of thought. They seize upon a catchphrase, any catchphrase, because it fits their emotions. Such men do not judge the truth of a statement by its correspondence to reality. They judge reality by its correspondence to their feelings. If, in the course of philosophical detection, you find yourself at times stopped by the indignantly bewildered question, how could anyone arrive at such nonsense? You will begin to understand it when you discover that evil philosophies are systems of rationalization. The nonsense is never accidental, if you observe what subjects it deals with. The elaborate structures in which it is presented are never purposeless. You may find a grim proof of reality's power in the fact that the most virulently rabid irrationalist senses the derivative nature of emotions and will not proclaim their primacy, their sovereign causelessness, but will seek to justify them as responses to reality. And if reality contradicts them, he will invent another reality, of which they are the humble reflectors, not the rulers.